What is going on, Parper Squad? Fado Steven here. Welcome to another Fallout 4 quest mod. I love quest mods, and I'm so happy to get back into them. This one here is called Age of Airships 2, and it completely turns your Fallout 4 into a pre-war experience. So the quest takes you through different parts in time, and it's all pre-war. And I'd love me some pre-war content on Fallout 4. If you guys remember, for my OG viewers, I made a video called Fallout 4 and Pre-War, where it was a work in progress mod where he tried to turn the whole commonwealth into pre-war commonwealth unfortunately that mod has been abandoned uh, i keep getting comments you know is this mod still finished is this mod still in work in progress completely abandoned unfortunately but if you want to check out that video go ahead and check it out i think it's called uh fallout 4 in i think it's called pre-war 2077 i can't remember what it was i can't remember what it was called if you want to check out that video though go ahead and click the link in the description thumbnail looks like this bam uh and it's pretty much a full-on pre-war experience this one here does that same concept but a lot better and actually has a quest tied to it so uh, let's check it out um, according to the mod creator it is like a DLC sized quest two hours long maybe roughly the size of Far Harbor um, so let's get back, let's get into it I'm excited here we go again getting the lay of the land talk to Crawthorn I believe that is uh, a different quest mod back to the past that's the one right there investigate the abandoned warehouse near Diamond City now for time's sake, I do have one shot kill on, so I can just, you know, run through the enemies uh, if need be. Because uh, I want I just want to experience the quest, you know what I mean? I don't really care about, like, the challenge. I just want to see how the quest is. Uh, so we have to go to Diamond City. So we probably just have to go over here somewhere. There it is. Abandoned house. This mod also has drivable cars, but you have to download the separate mod called drivable cars for that to work. Shit, it's a portal. Is this a portal? I wonder what may be going on, on the other side. Should I go in? Okay, let's go. Investigate what's on the other side of the portal. Dr. Sternberg's house. I can't wait to see how pre-war it all looks. Don't worry guys, I will be killing everyone. Don't worry, once I'm done with the quest. <laughs> New Belfast, oh. Oh shit, oh my god. This, this is the past, I can't believe it. This is incredible, wait. This changes everything. If, if I use the device to go back to the past, I can go back to the future, my future. I can save my family. I can save the world from the bombs. I have to find the man behind all this. Perhaps in that house, I can find some clues as to where he is. Well, since I'm going back to time, well, since I'm going back to a time of drivable roads, I guess I might as well get a set of wheels. There's got to be a car shop somewhere around here. A new quest has been added. Two quest list. I might want to look in some locations of note. This isn't a nuclear wasteland, and I can't just walk into any place just like so. A new quest has been added. Two waste quest line. I assume I'll we'll be here for a while, so I might as well search for the house to buy. This is awesome. This legit just cars driving, uh, or, or you know, driving to the best of ability. This is what I'm talking about when I say a pre-war mod, bro. This is badass. Wow, it's fully, like, mapped out, too. Alright, let's check our mods. Our quest, sorry. We have, uh, your own set of wheels. Location of note. Pharmacy, ender, clothes store, gun store, pub. Find Desmond's real estate shop. Search the house for clues. All right, let's go. Check out this welcome center here. Can I steal cars? I can't. That's cool how they're legit driving though. Payphone? Mysterious caller, activate. Sure. Mysterious caller, don't speak, only listen. We are... Who we are is of no concern up to you. What matters is that we will pay for certain services. Services requiring an ethically flexible individual. Go to Markinson Street 6, room 12, door will open. We inquire a sanitation service. Once you're done, you must go to Dyerville outside of town. There, 
you receive new instructions and in location of your payment. Do not disappoint us. Do not report us to authorities, lest the consequences will be unpleasant. Huh? Cool, I just got a new quest. Alright. Little little hitman business. Let's check the barbershop out. Can't really sit at the barber shop, but let's talk to the barber. Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the quest is broken already. I can't even sit. Yes. <coughs> Locations of note. Mc McDow Diner. Oh wow, they actually have like the windows the windows outside are transparent so you can see the vehicles. That's really cool. Okay, well the barbershop's broken. What's this? Public occurrences. Jackson's fineries. Huh? Rich Tycoon. Hey there. Huh? Okay. Hey, scavenger. All right. Anything been happening around here? Sure. Let's take a look. Let's see what you've got. Yeah, I gotta change my inventory for sure. Apparently, he's selling absolutely nothing. So that's good to know. Excuse me. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got, and let's see if we can make a deal. All right. What's anything been happening around here? Anything lately? Nothing you'd be interested in. Now I got merchandise to move here. If you're still buying. Not now. Not looking to buy right now. Queen Grey suit. Oh, she's just, just chugging a beer in front of me. Eh? Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to take one of your black cowboy hats. Clean black suit. Take one, I'll take one of that. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. There you go. Do I fit in now, guys? So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these quests. Like, I talk to the people, and then the quest marker still stays on them. I'll take a look. Sure. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I can check what they have. You can have my knife, my wrench, my ripper. Keep the mask. There you go. He has no coins, though. He's not even like, I, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, he's just robbing me, bro. This guy's robbing me. Alright, well. What else we have here? Okay, well, screw the locations of note. Whoa, that car was zooming, bro. Is there a speed limit here or what? You gonna kill someone with that. <laughs> Phone company. Mysterious caller cleanup. I'll, I'll definitely do that for sure. All right, let's check out this uh, Gal Galdro and Seth automobiles. Get a new car, you know. What the hell is going on? Is is it gonna load or what? Let's hope I don't have to reset this time. Uh, search the house for clues. Let's, you know, let's search the house. For, let's search the house for clues. Yeah. Yes. 
search the books and journals. I perused through the books on the shelf and found a journal of Dr. Sternberg. He found the tomb in Rub al Khali and wrote about it being able to react to electrical devices. Without a plug or any kind of connection, the ring would consume electric, electric power and activate. In later notes, I found his plans for the expedition. He plans to travel south? Oh shit, is he insane? Those marshes are dangerous. He's the only man who can make the device work. I must make sure to find him before mutants eat him. I hope not too late. Find out Sternberg before anything happens. Alright. Alright, where is Dr. Sternberg at? He is all the way over here. Oh, he's getting attacked. Damn it, I knew Sternberg was in danger. I gotta do something fast. I got you, got you. Don't worry, I got you. Don't let me stress, bro. Don't let me stress. A human, a real human. Thank you so much for help. I was sure I was going to be eaten alive. This is madness. What is this place? What happened to this world? Monsters, monsters everywhere. Are those people we just killed? There's no time to explain. Are you Dr. Sternberg? Yes, I am. You have no idea how grateful I am for your help. I was a fool, fool, I tell you, to venture recklessly through the ring. Ah, but we... What must you know of it? Are you native to the, uh, to this land? Yes, I know, Doctor. I'm. It's complicated. What matters is we need to get back into your time. Time? The ring? So it's true. It did take... It did took me through this time, through time, but this place doesn't make sense. There's been a war. I beg of you, we have, we will have all the time in the world for talk. You are the only one capable to stop all this. We need to get you to safety. There was a war, um, a third world war. We unleash a weapon you can't even comprehend now. You, you see the results. Now we have to go back into the past. After witnessing all this horror, I don't think we have much of an option. Please lead the way. I escort the doctor to his house in the past. I should talk to him there. Bye. Good to be safely home. Now, you have my deepest thanks, good sir. I have so many questions. Can you please explain what was back there, what happened, and when? What you saw there was the year 2020-77. I personally came from 2077. You proceed to explain your story of the world. Of, you explain. You proceed to explain your story and the story of the world. What have they done? I am so sorry about your family, your son. I, th I thought I, when I came back from the trenches in France would be the last time I saw such a thing happen, but people just can't stop. I understand your motivation. You're possessed as a great gift to the world. You know what would happen, you know what to do. Doctor, it don't matter. It won't matter if I can't go to a specific place in time. Please, can you set the machine to October 20th, 2077? I must stay at my family. I'm afraid this device doesn't have any setups. I cannot set any date or place. I just barely begin to properly study it. Maybe if I... Doctor, this is very, very important. Maybe the most important thing in the world. What do you need? It's far, it's far complicated than that. We firstly... We need a better lab. More equipment, resources to build any device we require, and specialists to operate them. We'll need a fortune, and we don't have that kind of wealth. Oh, yes, we do. We have the future. Doctor, get a hold of black marketers, art dealers, antique traders, and, and the like. I'm going back to the future. I have a plan. Art, real genuine pieces. They litter every museum in Boston in the future. They just gather dust, not worth more than crap. Here they are priceless. If I can get a really important piece and bring it to the past, I'll, I'll pass myself in, as an art thief. Those black marketeers won't be any wiser. They'll get genuine pieces, I'll just lie, replace originals with fakes, and I'll be able to raise the need to funds. Everyone's happy. Excuse me. Huh? Alright, so you want me to steal some art for you, bro? Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking this quest. I'm liking how I'm going back to the future and past and shit. This is sick. I can do that. You're mine now, rookie. Fred, out. You find him. Okay. <laughs> 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 
I love the one shit kill. Um, the one shot kill. <laughs> one shit. I love the one shot kill mod. Uh, it just makes it seem realistic, like he shot once and they're dead. This is the picture right here. Picture of Todd Howard on the horse. Steal the picture. I managed to take the portrait from Concord Museum. This one looks nice enough. Original work. It should commend a nice. It should commend a neat price on the black market, and it'll probably avoid being destroyed in this way. All right, where to next? Talk to Dr. Sternberg about the black marketers. All right. Yeah. I have the artwork. You have the artwork. Incredible. So much time, and it's barely aged. I got. I got your contact, Connor. He's got his den, Marksfield Street Four, the basement. Be careful. He may be the best of the best in his class, but he's cranky and well armed. Falcon Gangster. Got some gangsters over here, eh? Falcon Capo. Hey there. All right. Don't want to miss those gangsters right now. You got Papa Capo in his ass. Here we are. Yeah. Connor's contraband. Basement, that's right, he said the basement. Oh shit. I think Connor is supposed to be hostile towards me. Well, you got about 10 seconds to give me a reason not to break out your bones. Oh, cool. <laughs> this works. I'll just talk to his dead body. <laughs> How about, um, you don't have to be so cranky. I'm here for business. Fuck, you ain't got time for this shit. I'll find someone else to buy a stolen penny. How about this? Pulls out your weapon. This should be entertaining. I'm here for business. Modesty the two of pussies or stitches and cheats pulls out his weapon. Fuck you, I ain't got time for this shit. You're either incredibly stupid or brave to say fuck you to my face. You say a painting, you got about 10 more seconds. Stolen piece, good quality. I'm sure you'll find it substantial for your collection. You should already know I deal in stolen goods and that I don't collect art. I smell a snitch. Boys, get him. So I'll have to kill him anyways, looks like it. I'll be damn, it's real. It's dusty. I used probably stashed away in the basement, so I had a call from Sternberg about you. Said you're a professional. He stated a price two thousand. All right, I'll take it. Twenty one thousand. All right, I'll take it. Haha, ha, you got balls. I like it. When you got time to visit me, I always buy and sell contraband items. Okay. Oh. He's back. He's alive again. Excuse me. Hey, Scabba. Let's trade. I've got a few minutes to browse. Antique Austrian Doppelstutz. Uh oh. I like that. I'm gonna take that. Thank you so much. Total cost tw 2000. Okay. You can have. My. You can have that. 
and that. Is that good? Oops, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I got an ammo for it. Awesome. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you got. I've got a few minutes. I need some seven six two. Don't even have the right ammo for it. Whatever. Let's check the thingy. Uh, give the earned money to Doctor Sternberg. All right. You guys are dead. I'll take that. I'm loving these old time guns. There we go. Ooh, even aimed on sets and everything though properly. That's sick. Cool. Alright, so now, because I, so now I have to go back to Sternberg, but because I created that uh, spawn point location, I can just go to uh, my cheat terminal. Uh, move to location, custom, and then move to location number one, which is where I set it right in front of that portal. So, genius mod. This this is more than I even expected. I'll use this to get my lab. Meet me in the Emporium Tower of the Strip. Oh, and take this. After what I saw in the future, you probably long for some decent food, clothes, or taste of luxury. What'd you give me? You gave me nothing. Literally gave me nothing. Okay, I think he's in the hotel room. He is in the hotel. Sternberg Lab. Cool. How do you like this place? This is amazing. We have a crew of men. We have equipment. We have the funds, the space to properly research the ring. Unfortunately, this is far from enough to make a reliably reliable reliably teleport you wherever you and wherever we choose so what can we do doctor what else do we need well it's a long story we were a band of archaeology students so let's say we were more adventurous and unorthodox back at that age youth we heard from a man called lorenzo cabot apparently he's found an ancient civilization that was previously unknown he found something of great value there was five of us we knew the risk and put our whole future as archaeologists at risk lorenzo cabot i know of him that's impossible, but you're serious. This man made immortality with the use of a crown of Ubar? Would explain why the ring was such alien properties. Ubar was more amazing than we thought in our research. What you told me is helpful, but Dr. Herman Kurtz was the one who had the greatest grasp of knowledge on the civilization. We'll need his research book in order to further understand the civilization of Ubar and the ring, but there's a problem. I don't like the sound of that. Indeed, see, during the expedition we did argue a lot, there was something in the desert air, something weird, maybe it, making it hard to think made us turn against each other. We did We did succeed, recovered the ring, but we took a toll. We drifted apart and shunned each other. Herman went back to Germany, became a prominent scientist for the Nazi party. His research must be there. I'm not supposed to know it, but my concern for the research forced me to spy on him. Apparently, he had his documents confiscated by Nazis and secured in the Kurzwald Castle. Keep it Alps. Deep in the Alps. You'll have to get his documents. So I guess it's time for a little trip to Germany, huh? So now I gotta go to Nazi Germany and get Herman's notes and research. This is gonna take months. Wait. Now that I think about it, the Graf Zeppelin stays in town. I guess I just have to find an airline company willing to sell tickets for a ride. Then I gotta get into Nazi castle defended by all kinds of fuck no and get to research. We better get to it. Yeah. Jeez, that's a lot of reading. Holy fuck. Alright. We uh we are heading to Germany. So I'm gonna end I'm gonna end part one right there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quest mod so far. I'm loving the whole pre-war look to it. Some of my favorite mods are the ones that are super detailed like this. So guys, thanks for watching. Fiddle Steven out. And remember, stay proper. Peace. I keep on